Ever thought about creating your own digital product online but don't know where to start? Or maybe you've started but hit a few roadblocks, then this video is for you. I'm going to walk you through some of the most common struggles that people face when it comes to writing and selling their own ebooks online, and I'm going to share with you actionable tips to help you overcome them. Step number one is choosing the right topic. Here's the solution. So, one way to make sure your topic is profitable is to use Google Trends. Or you can go and check out what's selling on other platforms like Amazon or Etsy. Also, you can carry out an audience survey to see what people would be interested in as it's a fantastic way to gain deeper insights into their specific struggles and interests when it comes to ebook design and layout. Once you've gathered feedback from the survey, you'll have a clearer idea of where your audience is stuck and what the solutions are that they'd be willing to invest in. Step number two is writing the content. So here's the solution. It's all about breaking down your content into smaller sections, which is a powerful strategy for making your ebook creation process more manageable. Instead of trying to write an entire ebook at once, focus on one section or a chapter at a time. Start by outlining your key topics and breaking them down into bite-sized parts. This way, you can tackle each section with greater focus and clarity. Not only does this make the process less overwhelming, but it also ensures that you can maintain the quality of your content as you move forward. If you're feeling stuck at any point, you can use tools like ChatGTP that could be super helpful for generating content, providing ideas, giving you rough drafts for you to build on. For example, if you're struggling to develop an introduction or expand a specific section, you can use AI quickly, brainstorm ideas, and this will get you past writer's block or refine your thoughts to enable you to stay on track and keep the flow of your ebook logical and engaging for your readers. What's going on guys? I'm Lorna Recommend. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. And if you're new here, please like this video, subscribe and share it with your friends and family to help your girl's channel grow. So then, as you're learning about the eight common struggles when it comes to creating and selling digital products, I've got something that will help take you to the next step or the next level. I recently put together a super easy to follow ebook called Create, Craft and Sell Your Own Digital Products. It's packed with step-by-step -step instructions, everything you need to get started and to make it even better. I'm giving away a free template with 54 digital product ideas that are profitable so that you can use right away. So if you are serious about getting into the digital market, then this ebook is definitely for you. I'll put my link in the description below. Step number three is all about designing and formatting your ebook. If you're not comfortable with design, no worries, because Canva has a ton of free ebook templates that you can customize to match your own style. Or you can hire a designer on Fiverr.com to give your ebook a polished look. Number four is about pricing your ebook. You can start by researching what similar ebooks in your niche are selling for so you can get an idea of what the pricing is. However, while competitors' pricing provides a helpful baseline, it's essential that you go beyond simple comparisons and begin to consider the unique value you are offering. For example, if your ebook is more in depth, it offers actionable advice or targets a specific pain point that other ebooks miss, then that added value can justify you putting a higher price on it. Additionally, if you're including bonuses like worksheets, templates, checklists, or exclusive content that enhances the reader's experience, 
and helps them achieve their goals faster, you can also charge a premium. These extras increase the perceived value of your ebook, making it more than just a book. It then becomes a comprehensive resource. So then, the more tangible benefits your audience can get from these additional elements, the more likely they're willing to pay a higher price. You should always seek to frame your price around the transformation or results your readers will achieve rather than simply matching your competitors' rates. Step five is marketing and promotion. You don't need to wait until your ebook is finished to start promoting it. Build interest by sharing your progress on social media, offering sneak peeks, and you can even set up a waiting list so people can sign up to be the first to know when you launch. Number six is platforms you can sell on and technology. So we have Amazon KDP, which is Kindle Direct Publishing, is an excellent platform if you're looking to tap into a massive built-in audience with millions of users researching for eBooks daily. KDP offers unrivaled exposure to millions of people, making it easier for your ebook to be discovered by readers. However, it's important for you to consider that when it comes to publishing on Amazon, there are trade-offs, especially in terms of royalties and pricing control. Naturally, Amazon does take a percentage of your earnings depending on the price you set, which I believe is around 30%. Additionally, Amazon pricing policies may restrict how much you can charge and you won't have access to valuable customer data such as email addresses, making it harder for you to build a long-term relationship with your readers or promote future products directly. However, if you prefer to have greater control over your pricing, customer data and branding, then platforms like Gumroad or Shopify offer a far more flexible alternative. For instance, Gumroad allows you to sell digital products directly to your audience without the strict pricing structures of Amazon and you keep a larger share of the revenue. You can also create customer pricing tiers, offer discounts, and have access to important customer data, which can be invaluable for future marketing and upselling opportunities. Another example is Shopify, which allows you to fully own the selling process through your own online store, giving you full control over your pricing, your customer relationships, and your branding. Although these platforms may require a little more effort in terms of marketing and driving traffic, they do provide you with the freedom to retain higher profits and nurture your loyal customers over the long term. Step seven is building an audience. You can start by building your audience well before you even think about selling your ebook by establishing a strong, engaged following. This will place you you in a super position to ensure you have a successful launch along with long-term sales. One of the best ways to do this is by creating valuable content that showcases your expertise in your given niche, whether through a blog, social media platforms like Instagram, Twitter, or LinkedIn, or even through a YouTube channel, you can consistently share content that addresses your audience's pain points, answering their questions, or help them solve specific problems. Now then, by doing this, you'll build trust and position yourself as a knowledgeable authority in your field. Your audience will see you as someone who genuinely wants to help them, making them more likely to purchase from you when you eventually release your ebook. Additionally, you can build an audience early on which allows you to engage with them directly, gather feedback and then fine tune your content to better meet their needs. Social media and email lists are also powerful tools for you to nurture relationships 
and keeping your audience informed about your ebooks progress. For example, you can share behind the scenes updates, you can ask for their opinions on topics or cover designs or even offer early access to bonuses to loyal followers. So then the more value you provide upfront, the more excited your customers and your audience are likely to be and to buy from you. The building of trust and anticipation not only increases the chances of people purchasing your ebook but also encourages word of mouth recommendations reviews and social shares that can drive even more traffic when you launch now then Building an engaged audience is about laying the foundation for a sustainable business, not just a one-time sell. Step eight is about overcoming perfectionism and self-doubt. Your ebook doesn't have to be perfect before you publish it. In fact, stop seeking for perfection because this can often lead to delays, frustration, or even prevent you from launching altogether. What's more important is getting your ebook out there, sharing your knowledge and providing value to your audience. It's important for you to keep in mind that your ebook is not set in stone because you can always revise it, you can update it, or you can expand it later on based on the feedback you receive from your readers or changes in your industry. Now then, by releasing your ebook, you'll gain valuable insights into what resonates with your audience, what you can improve on, and what additional content or resources they might want. So then, think of your ebook as a living document that can evolve over time. We hear it over and over again that many successful authors periodically update their ebooks with new chapters, they refine the information or enhance visuals, thereby keeping the content fresh and relevant while boosting long-term sales. What should matter to you most is taking action, learning from the process and building momentum. Each time you release something, you gain more confidence and experience, which makes future projects easier and more successful. Also, by launching now, you are already helping your audience solve their problems or reach their goals, even if it's not 100% perfect. Remember, your audience is looking for value, not perfection, and they'll appreciate the effort you put in into delivering something that addresses their needs today. Guys, if you're currently working on an ebook, I'd love to hear your biggest challenge in the comments below. Now then, these are the eight common struggles people face when creating and selling an ebook, and I hope this gives you some clarity and actionable steps to move forward. As always, please don't forget to like and share this video with your friends and family for more money-making tips online. I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.